I'm out walking my tire. <laughs> Down boy, heel, stay. Finally on the way, a little late hitting the road this morning, but on the way to the Michigan Buggy Builder show up in Lansing. Uh, do a little short little intro here. Uh, probably because I'm driving, it's not the best idea to do too much of this. Right, babe? Oh. Uh, um, yeah, so we're gonna get up there in about an hour, and uh, that'll put us just under two hours late. So we'll see if there's anything left at the swap meet. Uh, hopefully find a few fun things, but we'll uh, show you around once we get there. our tickets we're out to head inside so uh, come along with us 400 bucks spindle mount get 700 aluminum so we need one of those and one of these and one of these dang This is what we're ultimately looking for. I need a set of two of these. I don't need a whole set of four, so we're gonna hunt for a set of two of these I can throw some ribs on. They did a good job on this. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, you can barely tell. So here's another one. Some of you done similar work to, but I just, I don't know. Kind of like this one better. So these are like the perfect set. These are the match to my rears. But I need ribs. I need. I already have all seasons in the front. I don't know. I like those. I could have an extra set potentially. Well, there you go. Why don't you get this? We fit that in here. You'll get that Corvair motor in the back, throw that in here, and then ride off into the sunset. Right? 
So you know how the welds on mine get a little sketchy every once in a while? You know, the whole weld or silicone thing we game we play? Yeah. Butter. That's tempting. Get ready. We just found it. We found the awesome. We're heading towards forced induction, everyone. Buckle up. Help me understand what I'm looking at here. So, this is a, they call this a draw screen. Okay. So you don't have to have a boost carburetor. So the fuel- Okay, yeah, so it pulls first the and then through, okay, yep. And then into this intake. Got the buggy, just 1600, you know, usual. It's making funny noises in the bottom end, so we'll see how long it lasts. You know, it's got some rattles, you know. My, my buddy's trying to talk me into a turbo kit down there. I'm like, listen, if we really want to find out where the problem is, we'll find it real quick, so. I'm really happy these match the rears, so I think this is a good buy. I, uh, I'm a little sad about the turbo kit. I mean, I'm happy I didn't buy it because I have a feeling I think I'm gonna wash up when we get inside. Yeah, we're a little. Oh my God, it's tin can. I know. I was like. Oh my God, it's tin can. <sighs> Have you ever been to a tin can, Fred? No. Every beer they sell is in cans. Everyone. <laughs> oh, you're lucky they're not open today. I'm out walking my tire. <laughs> Down boy, heel, stay. Well, we're back. Made it back from the Michigan Buggy Builders show up in Lansing. Uh, what an awesome show. The swap meet was huge. I had no idea there's gonna be that much, that many booths, that much stuff for sale. The prices seemed really reasonable. It was really hard not to walk out of there with an entire buggy worth of stuff, but um, thankfully I didn't. Uh, we only came home with, well, a few good things I'm pretty happy with. First off, you know, the, uh, the new fan shroud for the back. Pretty excited. Got to set up a new oil cooler since I'm losing that with the current one. Um, but can we talk for just a second about the wheels and tires? So as you recall, we uh, got these nice white wheels, the red and blue stripes, and then we repainted the fronts white, but we're missing the red and blue stripes. So then, you know, we bought these with the red and blue stripes. But then I get home and I'm like, oh, um, well, it's gonna look a lot cooler, that's for sure. Uh, here's the new size. So we were working with, 
what are these, 185.60s? Uh, yeah, 185.60s. These are 205.75s. Um, it's gonna be interesting. So uh, I had a little bit of rubbing before. I'm sure that's gonna completely go away now. But uh, yeah, I get these bolted on and probably throw a picture up on YouTube and Facebook and everything for you all to check out. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Appreciate y'all checking out as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, appreciate you watching everything and uh, hopefully see more of these in the future. Look forward to catch you on the next one. Thanks.